letter to oneself, you have this compilation of images. Most of these are nature imagery. Um, and it reminded me, or felt I felt it was giving a, the symbolic reminder to focus on things that self needs whether that be nature, sun, health. But it can also represent the changing of seasons because some of the imagery seemed like it was going from one season to another. So then it, it brought to light to me that possibly is this the passage of time represented um, in these images, um, which you know it could go either way depending on how you decide to look at this piece. This felt like a really interesting collection of uh, feelings or notes, I guess, to oneself, uh, more than a story with a narrative arc. Uh, it was just a, a really felt like carefully choice, chosen collection of uh, footage and, and images that we were seeing that uh, really just yeah, conveyed more, more of, of a feeling and emotion, again, than a story, um, which just made it really stand out to me. It, it's just a kind of piece that you you sit back and, and just sort of like nod in interest and uh, just enjoy it for what it is. Really good work. A uh, letter to oneself. Uh, I thought this was really, really interesting. Um, I really liked that they didn't have any sound. They didn't have any dialogue or anything like that. It really almost felt like a collection of like snapshots from a lifetime. Um, or, you know, from a year or, you know, what have you, whatever defined amount of time. And I thought that was really, really intriguing and really, really interesting. And I thought it was really beautiful too. And, you know, you, you got this great mix of, you had some scenery, you had some, you know, notation on paper, you had some things that were crossed out and, you know, you had all these different kind of elements to it that, like I said, all together, make up a snapshot of someone's life, make up a snapshot of someone's year, make a, you know, these different elements of someone's time. And um, I thought it was really beautiful. Letter to Oneself is full of really gorgeous atmospheric images that have a real palpable texture to them. Um, they, they really help convey, you know, the grand feeling of time. Um, and speak to the variety of ideas that are raised within the, the short itself, and they really, really make an impression. Um, it will not be quickly forgotten. Letter to oneself, a very nice, uh, very calming, very inspiring uh, short film. Uh, I really enjoyed the usage of cinematography and uh, the, the beautiful and stunning views and panorama. There's a, 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 a sequence of fantastic shots where you can really enjoy the panorama, the beautiful view, and then at the same time there is a very, uh, I'm going to say, a very chilling music that get inside of you and just make you, makes you stop and relax and chill. I think overall the short was very well done and especially the cinematography, once again, it was definitely the strongest uh, feature in the film. So overall, a very pleasant short. Congratulations. Letter to Oneself is a beautiful musical and visual message. Um, I really felt like it encapsulated change and the beauty of change. Um, and I really loved the music in this and the way that the images moved with the music and really went along well with it. It was a very calming film to watch um, and just sort of lose yourself in. Uh, I, again, really enjoy the music and I could see myself just drifting off to sleep listening to this and watching these beautiful images of nature and change um, and the beauty of that. So yeah, I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was very peaceful and relaxing. Letter to Oneself. A really great mix of these juxtapositional images leading the meanings and symbols into one another and... Uh, it just allowed them kind of bounce off one another and create new contexts for for the piece. And I found that really entrancing. For me, there, I kind of gathered this push and pull of city life, this life of technology in the modern age and capitalism versus nature and the changing of time through both of these mediums, through 
technology and through nature. Um, and for me, every time there was nature-based images that came up, there was a real relief and calmness and relaxation to this somewhat chaotic aspect of the technological images. So at least that's something I got from it, but I think so many people could gather so many different inferences, which I think is a really fun aspect of this piece and great backdrop for this song to interplay with. It, it was perfectly matched.